Good evening, the old mates. How are you doing? This uh, video is about the long experiment to actually um, seal these tins like C and D, uh, very common tins. And uh, my aim was actually put a, a seal under the lid to actually um, to get a, a medium time for the, the seal, you know, six months. And uh, part one, you see, you know, the tobacco lost, you know, 30% um, over six months and that that's not good enough you know you when the uh, seal is open here that's gone it's good for maybe two weeks or a month and that's it you know then you're already 10% loss and, or 15% so uh, I was trying to think how you actually put something under the lid, you know. And uh, three ideas were discussed in part one. Link below for part one if you didn't see it. Um, a, a silicon disc like that goes in that. You buy that half a millimeter sheets and uh, seals actually quite well and the other one was uh, a kilner jar the lid <laughs> it fits perfectly on the tin and fits very well the insert of the, the lid, you know, Kilner jar. A link below, you get them on Amazon, you know, I think $10 or something like for 12, you know. And there's the seal. Fits perfectly, right? That was number two. And Two gentlemen, you'll see in the, the names of the, the channel uh, in the clip, they said, look, uh, Saran wrap is good enough. Um, in Switzerland, we have Tangan is uh, just the, for the supermarket. And uh, you basically, I moved my toad. Um, put in the, in the lid to help this plastic lid to actually seal better. So I did five months, three tins, A, B and C, with tobacco in it. And I measured the uh, the moisture and the tobacco and calculate what how much water is there, and uh, measured the uh, weight and I made a clip for the experiment and and the results in the clip here. Hello, my old mates. Um, it's a short video here. The results for the um, sealing the tins of uh, C and D, uh, the, this common uh, tin, you know, C and D. Um, uh, the part one video is linked below if you didn't actually see it. But um, our five months, I tried three 
sealing uh, methods. The three experiments were number A was the silicon disk. You know, if you calculate the, the cost, it's about, you know, 20 cents. Uh, you get a half millimeter sheet of silicon and you you put the tin on top and cut it out carefully and it fits perfectly in the lid. And the question is, is the is the, uh, the, the lid actually, uh, when you clamp it down, is it sealed or not, you know? So this experiment, um, I put tobacco in the three tins. We actually want to um, preserve the uh, moisture of tobacco. So, um, and I calculated the, uh, the weight of the moisture. I had a meter to uh, measure the uh, percent of uh, moisture in the tobacco and then I calculated how many grams are in the tin. In this experiment I weighed the whole tin sealed with the tobacco and the seal uh, every two or you know three weeks and the good result is zero you know, no loss of weight for the water vapor. So if you zeros, that's good, right? And um, let's start with uh, tin number A, yeah, so uh, silicon seal, five months. I, represent, uh, you know, you see it's only 2% loss. That means that you could actually store it longer, like, you know, maybe a year. And it means the clamp mechanism of the lid is good enough if the seal is thin and ro robust. Of course, this result is, um, the tin is not opened uh, in the five months. And if you open it, close it, and open it, close it, of course, you'll lo lose more water vapor. So, um, you have to accept that. Um, but the, the target of this experiment was uh, um, seal uh, medium storing, just uh, let's say six months or something like that. Because um, if you are open a few tins, you know, after a couple of weeks, you have to jar it up and, um, and and sometimes I I prefer to keep the tins with the, the tin art and uh, and put in a rotation of smoking so um, that was the target you know how you actually temporary six months or you seal it um, We'll look at the tobacco in a moment. Um, let's go to number B. Number B was, uh, or letter B, <laughs> uh, was sealing with saran wrap, uh, you know, a very common uh, f for supermarkets and very cheap and Congratulations to two uh, pipers who are actually YTPC uh, um, recommend this uh, 
method. Daryl Ware Piping Camping and Pork Roll Piper. You're smart, um, street smart, you know, without the results, but you, you knew um, and your experience is proved right here. So, uh, let's go Tim, let's go to Tin B, this one. Now, you see it, there's a bit more loss um, over five months, but only six percent. For me, this is a, a fantastic method. This must be the, the cheapest solution. The only thing when you seal it and clamp it two or three times, maybe you've got a whole wrap. But uh, it's so cheap, you know, and so you replace maybe that. Uh, it's a, a little more work, but um, it's a fantastic uh, method and very cheap. And uh, also the advantage of this one is uh, larger tins. You know, no problem. You just use the wrap, put it on and clamp it. It's very quick. So this is a brilliant solution. And um, yeah, it's a slightly um, more loss, but uh, for six months, it is, you know, you won't know 6%. Uh, it's, it's too little to actually uh, influence your, uh, enjoy your tobacco. So, and uh, let's go to solution C. This one, number C, and uh, this was in the middle, you know. And number C was actually a, a, a Kilner jar, the seal, you know, in the middle of the, uh, of the lid, you know, is r removable. And I put it on this, and it perfect fits in the lid here. We'll see it in a moment. And this is one, you know, number two in the loss of 4%, you know. So all these uh, A, B, and C are, are all good, right? So, um, there were other suggestions, you know, with Teflon, uh, uh, parafilm, and, but as I said, sometimes it's a bit messy and you open the, the tin and you have to replace it every time. But um, like this one, probably, but um, it's so simple and so cheap, you know, you have to credit this solution. Now, let's look at the uh, tobacco condition. Here we go. Five months sealed, right? And this is silicon, like that. It looks pretty good. The texture is nice. It's still moisture. I feel it in, the, in my finger. 
let's look at the um, moisture meter, right? It's upside down, so it's 21, right? 21, let's look at that. And you see, there was 22 at the start. So it's approximately congruent with uh, two percent of the total water. So uh, good enough, I think, to verify the result, you know, very loss, uh, very little. And silicon was uh, actually the top, you know, only about 2%. And the meter says it's 1% loss, but uh, good enough, right? Um, so I'll smoke that. <laughs> I'll keep this seal as well. When you have a, a seal in the, the lid, you know, that's done, you know. Right. Let's go to uh, tin B here. Saran wrap. I started to use this as well, you know. It looks very good. No mold or anything like that. Yes, same texture and you, you feel a bit of moisture there. And this tobacco was the same you know, 22%, I think it was Chocom Grand Cru, you know, use that tobacco. Let's measure it now. Well, uh, 21% um, or 20. It varies a bit. But verifies very little moisture was actually lost. According to that, um, maybe 1% or 2%, you know, the measurement is more accurate, I think, with uh, this. This uh, electric scale, you know, so I trust the, uh, the weight and uh, of course the moisture with this meter is, uh, depends where you stick it in 19% uh, here, so that 3% loss, so it depends. But the only thing I'm looking here is verified that it's very l little loss of uh, water content. So let's go to uh, tin C. You see that's the Kilner inset of the lid, you know, perfect, just perfect with the, the lid of C and D tins. I, I like this one. 
but it, you know maybe the value of this uh, you you can buy um, this lids uh, only that and not the jar but you have to get like 10 or 20 or something that's too much but um, the advantage of this one is robust and uh, you use it over and over again and when you actually took the tobacco and and want to seal it you just keep it like that and that's it so that's sealed and uh, the lip clampers quite well Let's measure the uh, moisture. Also, this one was 20% uh, moisture. So, so it's up, upside down, so about 2019 or something like that close enough close enough and it means uh, four percent uh, loss you know but uh, this meter is uh, not so accurate with the, the weight in the scales here so um, but it means it works there we are it's all sealed again so so those are uh, the results and uh, all the solutions are good, you know, but um, you can't beat this one. <laughs> it's so cheap and flexible, and you know, uh, the size of the, of the tin. And if you re replace, you know, every time, it's a bit more work, but, uh, you know, you just put it out and and cut it and put it there so it's very simple and quick so well done my old mates who suggest this solution i think this number one and the other one i like this uh kilner jar but um because it's ro robust, but um, but probably I'll use this one more and more. So that's the results of the experiment. Housekeeping. I'm smoking Missouri Meerschaum, the only nine millimeter pipe that they made but for me it was a problem they put the filter here in the shank and not in the stem and it moved around and end in, in the bowl so i thought it was a stupid idea but um if you smoke this nine millimeter did it work for you i decided to drill six millimeter on the stem and put the savinelli six millimeter filter in there and now it's perfect i actually talked to missouri near and said i don't think 
this works. And they said, oh, well, it's tested by the top management. They probably don't smoke filter cobs, but I don't know. Did it work for you? Anyway, now it's working for me. Since Christmas, I had this. It's still good to smoke. Um, the loss, was, this is number three, 6% after five months. And when it go 10%, yeah, that's the, I think, you know, you notice um, it's a bit more dry. Um, it depends on the tobacco, how wet it is when it comes. Um, but you can't beat this one because it's, as I said in the video, um, it's so simple. You just cut a, and, and put it on and it works for other tins that are larger and things like that. So I will use this one and number two, I've got a couple of lids like that and I'll use it as well. Um, so if you like to <coughs> store your tobacco for a few months in the tin, you know, um, for your t tobacco rotation, uh, this is a good solution. Your choice of three solutions then. So, uh, so that's the end of the experiment and um, I'm happy we actually reached the uh, target. So I forgot to actually mention the ta tobacco in the pipe. Uh, it's actually this one <laughs> and it's still delicious. Uh, one of the best Christmas tobaccos, I think. So that's it. And uh, finally, we know the options to seal this uh, tins. Have a good evening and uh, the rest of week. See you, me old mates. Cheerio.